Hey there, welcome to Vines on the Tracks. I'm Rob. And I am Ben. And you are with us today for some breaking news about Epic Universe and its ticket packages and um, vacation packages for you guys as well. And the main idea of this video is to help you guys who are traveling from the United Kingdom over to Florida. Um, we've seen a few ticket options out there and some of them have been a bit complicated for UK visitors. So we're hoping to break that down for you today. And the reason we decided to do this video is because we have just booked our Epic Universe Yay. tickets for October 2025. And we had quite a lot of options to go mm. through. There's a lot of information on the internet that's geared towards the American domestic audience. Yeah. Um, and some of those ticket options are fantastic and they might work very well for your vacation. But if you are planning on going to maximize the amount of time you can spend in Epic Universe, you may want to pay close attention to some of the information we're going to tell you about. So we are going to introduce you to two of the ticket options that we looked at when we were figuring out which option to go with. So the first option is our 14 day UK ticket. Now I must point out that with any of the ticket options that you decide to go with, only one day is allowed into Epic Universe. So whether you do decide to go with the option one or the second option that we're discussing in just a few moments, only one of those days will be um, guaranteed entry into Epic Universe. So option one, the option that we actually picked is the 14 day ticket, which is available via numerous outlets. We went with Orlando attraction tickets, which we can link below for you. The 14 day ticket gives you unlimited park to park access. So that basically means that you can park up between Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, and of course the amazing water park that is Volcano Bay. But that also gives you one day's access to Epic Universe. You don't have to uh, indicate which day you'd like to visit Epic Universe. It's just any day within that 14 day period. So how much does this ticket option cost? At the moment, they're doing a 5% discount on their website and we paid £423 in total. And that covers uh, any extras like taxes and everything. We paid just slightly more um, just to um, cover ourselves in the eventuality that we couldn't go or whatever. Um, but the basic base price for you is £423. So why did we choose this package rather than going with the um, international website that is universalorlando.com? So for us, this package is really geared only towards the UK market. So for international visitors who may be watching this video, this package is only for UK residents. So again, that being 423 pounds. Now the reason that we chose this package is because we wanted unlimited access for the parks for the duration that we're there. So out of the 14 days, you can go absolutely anywhere. With the restriction on just one day into Epic Universe, we have looked into the option of purchasing single day tickets. Now these single day tickets into Epic Universe are not currently available. They are going on sale for annual pass holders on the uh, 24th of October. Now they are getting first dibs on these single day tickets, which is great for them. But what does that mean for us? So once those tickets have been given out, tickets for the general public for single days will become available. We're not sure when. However, this option for us means that we've secured and locked in one day into Epic Universe out of the 14. And then when they become available, we can then um, purchase single day tickets thereafter. Um, we estimate that they will cost anywhere between $160 to $200, depending on the day that you go. Um, the calendar is currently available on the website, um, so do check them out. It looks as if June, July, and August are the most expensive months outside of that grand opening week taking place on the 22nd of May, 2025. So if you are thinking about visiting potentially in 2026, this 14 day ticket will guarantee you unlimited access into Epic Universe as well. But for 2025, please do bear in mind that by using this ticket option, 
you only get one day guaranteed into Epic Universe, and the rest of the days you can go in as many times as you want into Universal Studios Florida, Islands Adventure, and Volcano Bay. So, if you don't think that this option is for you, Rob now is going to be talking to you about buying it via Universal's website themselves. So, if you don't think that option is going to work for you, there are other options. And I want to tell you a little bit about one of the options that we really almost went with and purchased. And that was to buy individual multi-day tickets to pad out our itinerary and ensure that we get as many days in Epic Universe as possible. Now, just to give a bit of context, we're already planning on going to Orlando for 21 days. We have got seven days in Disney. And the plan was that we would spend 14 days in the Universal area while also checking out Halloween Horror Nights and also a visit to SeaWorld. So we had this conception that maybe we don't need a 14 day ticket to go into Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios because we're there for so long and we're doing so many other things. So we've looked at the option of locking in more days right now in, uni in Epic Universe. And the way that we would do this is by purchasing a series of three four or five day tickets, which are available for you to book right now. So currently you cannot buy a single day ticket to Epic Universe. They've been quite clear that they will release one and two day tickets to Epic Universe, as well as fast track tickets before the park opens on May 22nd. But right now your options are three, four and five day tickets. Now I'm not going to bog you down with all the different tiers because there are quite a few. Some include park hopping, some are one park per day, and some include Volcano Bay, while others do not include Volcano Bay. So again, this might work for you if you're planning on going to Orlando, spending a block of time at Universal before maybe going on to Disney or to some of the other attractions or the other places in the Orlando area. So when we looked at it, what we considered was the cheaper way of doing it, which was two five-day tickets. The reason we were looking at that is because the ticket price per day goes down significantly from the three-day ticket to the five-day ticket. So each day you go from paying potentially $134 a day down to paying as little as $74 per day per park, depending on the package that you've gone for. So, what we were thinking is that maybe we could buy a few of those now, have three days in Epic Universe locked in, and we wouldn't need to buy single tickets later. However, when we looked into this, we were gonna be paying a lot more money. So the reason that we decided against doing that was, well, for various reasons. One was that you can't park off with those ticket options, at least with the cheapest option, which would mean that we're quite restricted in where we can go. Also, the not including Volcano Bay in all the ticket packages. It's quite nice to have that impulsive decision to go to a water park some days. And the other reason was the sheer amount of money that we'd be spending. So you have to buy these tickets on Universal's US website. So if you're currently in the UK, you'd need a VPN to be able to access that. All the prices that are listed also do not include tax. That gets added at the very end in the checkout. So it's just something to consider. Out of all of those options, if you did want to have the cheapest option for you, that would be a three-day, three-park ticket, which includes one day at Epic Universe. And that is currently priced at $150 for adults and $147 for children. And that doesn't include sales tax. All of the ticket options, whether it's the three, the four, or the five-day option, only include one day at Epic Universe, which again, you can choose at your leisure to take on any one of those days within that block. So obviously if you booked three three-day tickets, you would get the opportunity to go to Epic Universe three times. However, of course, this is gonna come at a cost. So it depends on your budget, what you're willing to pay up right now. Also with the UK ticket, the 14-day ticket that Ben was telling you about, you actually can book that with a deposit which means that obviously right now, you don't have to offset such a vast amount of money, which if you book the universal tickets, you're paying for everything right now. It's just 10 pounds for that deposit. And I just wanna stress, we're not plugging anything, this is not an ad. We're just telling you from our experience, we spent a whole day from the minute that the tickets went on sale, researching all the vacation packages, all the multi-day tickets, trying to find out the best way that was gonna work for our vacation. And the conclusion was, we went with Ben's option, 
option A. So we're back together again now. Hey, so there are also vacation package options out there where basically Universal will allow you to stay in one of their hotels. It's got to be a minimum of a four night stay um, and it will also include a three park, three day ticket. We did look at this option, however, between ourselves and our other family members, again, it was very, very pricey. And we also had already booked our uh, accommodation. We, we actually planned, as soon as they announced the opening of the Stella Nova and Terra Luna Resorts, we wanted to get a, a stay guaranteed and booked in. Who doesn't uh, want to get in there quick, right? Exactly. <laughs> and we actually paid a much lower price than what is uh, the hotel price right now. Absolutely. Obviously, Grand Helios is also opening, and the prices are really reasonable. They actually yes. start at $263, uh, not including tax, per night. However, it looks amazing. It looks so good. <laughs> but just be mindful that that is a from price. Yes. So it does shoot up very significantly, especially if you want to look at the park, mm. because obviously when you see these amazing videos, that one person we really recommend that you watch on YouTube is Theme Park Stop. Um, yes. I think the lady's called Alicia that, yeah. that runs that channel. And she Alicia is amazing. Stuff. She knows everything. Like it's so good for information and to see the progress of the park. Yeah. But what we, you know, when you see the layout of the park and you see the hotel at the back, mm -hmm. it looks incredible. It does. However, it's only half of the rooms that are actually looking into the theme park. The other half are looking out towards the rest of Orlando. Yeah, I researched it yesterday and it was the rooms, the standard rooms don't offer any of those views. And then it goes to a pool view even before you get to the park view yeah. rooms and then you're paying money. And Skyline view as well. That was and another Skyline, one on it. Yeah. yeah, a lot of different options before you get the park view. And from what my research looked at, it looked like the cheapest room was 555 US dollars without tax for a theme park view for one night. Mm -hmm. um, so just to put that into perspective, so we just thought Terra Luna was going to be opening the, uh, after Stella Nova, so we thought it'd be a little bit newer by the time that we go. Yeah. Um, and we got a really good deal. So we're really looking forward to staying there. We're glad we've locked in our tickets. I Absolutely. think it's made us feel so much better. Obviously, we do need to get some single day tickets, but the good thing with the way that we book the tickets is we can always cancel and then book a different package nearer the time if we need to. But right now, I think we've done the right thing um, and we're still planning on getting to Halloween Horror Nights and all that kind of stuff within it. But when we did a pros and a cons list, it just worked out better for us, didn't it? To know that we can park up, know that we can go to Volcano Bay if we want to. Also, you know, sometimes the weather in Orlando, that time of year can be a little bit hit and miss. So we want to be able to have flexibility um, with our itinerary, right? Definitely. So we've also stayed at Dockside before and Dockside, I'd highly recommend it. It's a cheaper hotel again than Stella Nova and Terra Luna. Um, and it was absolutely brilliant. We've always had a fantastic time every time we've stayed at Universal Orlando. We're really, really looking forward to going back. But of course, we're also looking forward to getting back to Disney, to SeaWorld and all the other stuff. So if you haven't already, we have got our previous Disney vacation on this channel, um, which starts with our travel day. Uh, we stay at the Polynesian and we spend, uh, we actually spent 14 days at Disney, although we only filmed for nine days because we had a <laughs> bit of vacation time. Uh, but we are planning on vlogging the entirety of our 22 day Orlando holiday in 2025. So please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on that video and all the rest of the future content we've got coming up as well. If you also like UK parks, we've also blocked quite a few of those over the past few months. Do, do check them out if you are a fan of our UK parks because you should be, they're amazing. And what we wanna know from you now is, are you planning on going to Epic Universe? If you are, comment below, tell us when you're going, tell us where you're planning on staying and let us know which ticket package you opted for. Everybody's different, everyone's itinerary is different and everyone's budget is different. So you've gotta do what works for you, but we just thought that by creating this video today we could share what we've done here in the moment so that uh, hopefully we can help you plan your vacation thank you so much for watching guys from me ben and me rob thanks for watching vines, vines on, on the, the tracks. tracks and don't forget if you like these videos or want more content from us please do help our channel grow by liking and subscribing thank you so much we're also on instagram with the same username vines on the tracks thanks guys see you bye. soon bye